in this tutorial we're going to get into a little bit of scripting and you can see here that I have basically what is a uh, OTS and you have an OTS left and an OTS right so the idea is that you want on the out on the sequencer side to set the text and the image for say the left side and for that to transfer over onto the right hand side so let's just go ahead and I'll show you what that what that will look like. So in the text one I have written here Eiffel Tower and in the image I actually put the Eiffel Tower on the image on the left. Now when I execute this guy by clicking on the state it transfers over onto the right hand side and so does the text. Now what the way we did this was by using a, a short script that basically says take the material on this image one and transfer it to image two and take the text on text one and transfer it over to text two. Now let's go ahead and, and see what the script looks like to facilitate that action. So what we're going to do is go to the top root node in your object manager, right click and go edit script events. And on the on online um, selection, we have this, this um, you know, pretty short script here. So what we did was we created a few variables. The first variable is called pick one, and that's as an XP base object. Then we did, which is basically going to be our left image, our image one. Then we have pick one A, which is our image two. Then we have name one, which is text one here. And then we have name one A, which is our text two on the right hand side. And then we have uh, pick one mat, which is basically the, the material, right? The material that we set to uh, image one. Uh, so then basically what we do is we go um, get image one and set it to pick one. So this is basically where we hear where we're setting okay well well this variable equals this object. So we're saying a self dot get object by name, which is image one. So it goes in the object manager and gets image one and we're basically setting pick one to be image one. Then we're setting image two, which is this guy, image two, right? We're setting image two to be pick one A variable. Then we're doing the same thing for the text. We're saying, say, okay, get text one, which is this guy here, text one in the object manager, and set it to name one. Text one, and set it to name one. Get text two, and set it to name one A. And then basically this is where we actually do the action, right? So we're basically saying, okay, well, get 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 the material for for pick one, right? Which we know is image one. So pick one dot get material. And now we're going to set that material to pick 1A, which is image 2. So pick 1A dot set material, right? So before we got the material, get material, and then we're going to set the material to pick 1. Okay, and we do the same thing for the text. So we go name 1A dot text equals name 1 dot text. So we're saying basically this text is going to equal this text. And that's pretty much all it is. Then don't forget to um, compile the script. You gotta press this compile button and you're gonna see a little green checkbox sign that you know that there's no errors. If there if if there were something wrong with it, let's just get rid of one of the characters here and I try and compile this. Uh, I should get an error. Actually that's not gonna work. Hold on. Let me get rid of that dot, that'll do it. If I try to compile this I get an error, see? Name one text not declared. So it doesn't understand that. So if there's a problem with your script, you will get an error. So make sure you look at this script and copy it exactly like that, and then press compile. Okay, and then it'll, it'll go ahead and do it. Now it now it does it on on online. So as soon as you bring this online, it executes the script. So we, it can actually execute the script from within expression here. So if I were to change this material, say uh, to this guy, and change this text like that. As soon as I double click on this here, it'll execute the script and you see you have the uh, image on the right and the text on the right changing. So we can do that again. Let's change it to this guy. And then double click on it and it'll copy over. So that's how you do a script uh, copy function for, for the material and for the text.